It says I'm live. I've never made a live video before on YouTube. So welcome in. I'm in my home. It's Sunday, the day after my first ever eight-man playoff game. That's my son's buddy, and there's my son in the background. They're jealous of my YouTube following. And you know, it's amazing. I never would have thought of this when I started YouTube a long time ago. I never would have thought the biggest YouTube following in my school would give me clout. But it does. It gives me clout. Uh, Sunday, so day after a game for me, whether it's Friday, whether it's a Saturday or Sunday, Whatever the day after a game for me is, there's the daughters cuddling on the couch watching BFG. But whatever the day after a game is for me, sorry, that's my hand over the phone, is my day to chill, watch football. Now, when my day off is a Sunday, I don't really watch the NFL. Uh, you know, so I watch the Bears a little bit if my, what's up, Ralph Hart? Um, I watch the Bears a little bit if my schedule permits. And I will watch the Bears if they're in the playoffs. But I don't really uh, watch any other NFL football. So if my day after a game is a say, then it's just grill and a drink and football all day. So it's kind of cold and rainy. Yesterday I played in, not, oh, I guess I, do you say you played in? Yesterday I played in, I flipped my uh, stuffed shrooms and some burgers here while I talk, but... Uh, yesterday I played in my first ever eight-man playoff game, and, and being an eight-man football coach, I, it was weird. I thought I, kind of starting off doing eight-man was was different, um, and I felt like I couldn't really give it a fair judgment because my team was so new. You know, we started a program from scratch this year, so we were so new to football that I I, I couldn't tell if the differences that I was feeling between eight man and 11 man were differences because we were so new to football. It's like coaching freshman football. I guess I'm a coach freshman since like 2004. So I, I don't, I couldn't tell if the difference I was feeling was because uh, we were so bad or we were so new to it. So inexperienced in such a small team and I was the only coach or if the differences I was feeling were from um, it being eight man against 11 man. So I couldn't tell, but I know that this year we've had a couple good moments, crowd or two, but it didn't really feel like what coaching football had felt like for me for years and years. So, uh, however, that all changed yesterday. Yesterday we were in the eight man playoffs against Alden Heber and we had to make a three hour trip. Um, what's up, Ralph Hart? Uh, the rules are not different. The rules are the same, really. Uh, how, the only rule differences are that you can wear any number. That's pretty much the only rule difference that I would say is significant. There's another one, like you have to have at least four men on one side of the um, kicker. You know, you can't overload it, but that's not an unusual rule. Uh, but the only rule differences are there's no number restrictions. So like your right guard could wear 34, right? And the next play is your fullback, which actually is our situation. Um, but, you know, I, I had, it had never felt the same. By the way, anybody who happens to be watching live, feel free to shoot out some questions. I'll be happy to answer. Um, I had never, it didn't feel like coaching football to me. It just felt also new. And I think, um, but yesterday it all changed. We had a gorgeous day. It was sunny and 45, which I've said for years, sunny and 45 is the best football weather there is. No under T needed for your kids. Shit, sunny and 45, we got it yesterday for football. And we were at a tiny little football stadium in a tiny little town. And we did have, we, you know, we had to drive three and a half hours, so our, our turnout was fairly low. But I'm telling you, we went up, we scored with a couple seconds to go in the half to go up 22 20 at half. And things were electric. I mean, it was, I was fist pumping. Man, we made, we had just gone over and covered again our two minute drill. And we get the ball back down 20 to 14. We get the ball back with, after just creating, making a big stop. And we got to go 80 yards in a minute 34. And we start cranking, right? And we're doing our two-minute drill. And we hit a screen, big yards. Then we come back with another screen to a different guy. And it goes for a touchdown. And we, we score with about, I think, 18 seconds to go in the half. And, I mean, the place was alive. And, and all I'm, I am fist pumping and I'm feeling the energy. And you know what else changed it? We played defense, real defense. I finally figured out how to play eight-man defense. That took me a long time to learn. I finally figured it out. We played defense, and it was a game. 
a ball game. So I don't have any Yate Demand videos on YouTube, Ralph, but I'm sure somebody might have some videos on YouTube. Um, and it looks different when you watch it if you're a coach. I think if you're an average fan, if you watch 8-man versus 11-man, you don't see a difference. I don't think my wife could see a difference. Um, but you coaches could see a difference just because, you know, it looks like, hey, where's everybody? You, you know, you got so, a handful fewer guys. But the game was electric. In the second half, we got the ball, too. We took a 28-20 lead. And then they scored a tie it up 28-28. And two drives in a row we make a couple mistakes. And I, all I can do is take some of the blame myself because we had the answer, what we needed to keep the drive alive, but I was too scared to call it because we had called it in the first half and then my kids kind of blew it. You know, and, and you could say, ah, oh, the kids blew it. Uh, I can't call that play because the kids. But the reality is I couldn't call the play because we hadn't repped the play enough and it was just speed option. Speed option was the right answer. We could have hurt them bad if we could have executed it with it. And I was too scared to call it in the second half because we had kind of botched it in the first half and lost two yards on it. But you know what? As I coach myself up, I talk about that same thing with trap all the time. You have to have trap in your system. If you're an under center, under center team, unless you're an option team, midline serves the same purpose. But you can't go a whole game without a core piece of your offense. You can't, even if it gets stopped for two yards the first time, you can't go the whole game without that core piece of your offense. So uh, we needed speed option out of our double tight eye stuff. And we didn't have it only because I was too scared to call it. If I call it and we just even do an average job of executing it, it was big time and probably would have kept one of those drives alive. But we couldn't do it, and in our second, so they, they take a 35-28 lead late in the game, and then um, we have to punt away, and they returned it for a touchdown. And you know how they returned it for a touchdown? The, the same reason I talk to the kids about in practice is this. If you are lazy covering this punt because you're tired, they will score. And we haven't had a punt returned on us in years. And sure enough, it's the fourth quarter, so my dudes that are my dudes are very tired. We punt. They're lazy covering, and they return it for a touchdown to break it open 40-28. to 28. It was electric, and I'm telling you what, I forgot that I was coaching eight-man football. For that game, I'm telling you, I wasn't thinking about it. It was football, and I've done this for so many years. I, I was pumped, man. I mean, it was like fist pumps. Awesome. It was awesome. It's so fun to be a part of. And my son's on my team now. He's a freshman. He plays the right guard in our spread stuff. He plays fullback in our under center stuff. And he's kind of a dude. It's kind of awesome to watch. I didn't expect that. So anyway, I want to just, just log on. I was grilling today and I just started thinking about the, my first eight man playoff game. Just feeling lost. Uh, you know, we're a first year program. We have a ton to feel good about, but it was, it was fun. All right, before I log off, I keep noticing, right? I'll make a video and I look right away and there's a thumbs down. And for me, I think, really? A thumbs down? Like for me, I would say thumb down, thumbs down for, I watch a video of a guy who's beating his child, right? <laughs> to me, I would thumbs that down. But there's not many other things I would thumbs down. And all I can think of is if you're a coach and you're thumbing down the videos I'm making because you think your drills are better or something, or is that why? Or did you have something against me? I don't know. I, I guess that's why they make the video, the, the saying, haters going to hate. Thank you guys for, uh, for watching, uh, signing off here. Any more chance to answer any, answer any questions. It was my first ever part being a part of an eight man playoff game. And, uh, it was a blast. That's all I can say. It was a blast. If you want to follow my football team on Instagram, it's tribe underscore warriors underscore. OKG. The OKG stands for our kind of guy. And that's, um, I got that from Jason Aubrey up at, he used to be at Joliet West, now he's the head coach at Larkin in Elgin, Illinois. But uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram, you can see some pictures from that game. All I can say it was a blast and uh, super thankful to have been a part of it. And while the eight-man game has some differences, uh, when you really start to play it, man, it's just play ball for the kids. And my kids were just thrilled. Say it again. Okay, my uh, Instagram is tribe 
underscore warriors underscore OKG. Um, it was just a blast. And you know, at the end of the day, it's about the kids. It's not about us. It's not about what we want. It's not about what the board wants you to do or how they feel about 11 verse 8, man. It's not hype enough. It doesn't get enough coverage. Whatever it is, whatever people's complaints are, for my kids, my dudes that play, it's all they know, and it's football, and they feel a part of the American fabric, which to me is what it's all about. All right, my first ever live video. I had a blast with it. Thank you for you five people that joined me, six um, I'm going to sign off if I can figure out how to do this. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll join me next time.